welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. I'm on Michigan Avenue. This will be a, a nice gateway to Detroit, talking about urban planning. This, is, uh, this will be the main highway. But look at the view. See if they make a hotel out of the old train station. Oh, definitely on the detour. I'll just go with the flow. I'm going to have some fun with the parking meter here. First time I'm going to do the new fangled ones where you put in your license plate. So enter your plate number so it's not an assigned spot. A dollar per hour, two hours max. So, and I ended up, I think, spending more than a dollar's worth. Five twenty-nine. I think by the time I got back to the car, the meter had expired. But luckily, I did not get a ticket. Nice brickwork up there. Uh, the Kobo Center. What I have to do here is pick up my sister and brother-in-law are doing the turkey trot. And my niece and nephew and all that. There's the building with the cherry on top. Beautiful uh, sun pattern at this particular time of day. Hall A in Detroit. Now they got something that they're preparing here because they're working on this area. And those are good paying job, construction jobs and so forth. And, yeah, I had to pick up their uh, T-shirts. So, this is Kobo Center. There's Joe Lewis. This is a fine tribute to the man. And they even get some information there now. That's fairly new. This is where I got to go to get the packet pickup. So, Turkey Trot Expo. Then they have the Grand Riverview Ballroom. And... The Indian with the canoe, they moved them from the front now where a better view of the river. But this used to be Kobo Arena, and the Pistons actually played here. But they're having a party, and it looks like a dining experience and so forth. This was a Wednesday afternoon, uh, Turkey Day Eve. Oh, and the camcorder was acting up a little bit. I'm going to switch camcorders uh, later on. But things go alphabetically by name, so there's a lot of S's. Uh, there's more Z's than Y's. That surprised me. But here, registration, you go and you get your T-shirt and your number. There are many different races. Well, there's like five different races. But they have different numbers. Then the medals. And so they've been doing this for 35 years. And uh, so people were, it, the next day is Turkey Day itself, Thanksgiving Day. So uh, Santa's going to come to town and so forth. So the city was a buzz. And then, well, the Ambassador Bridge, but we'll have a, Another bridge beyond that, the Gordy Howe International Bridge, and they should get working on that shortly. It'll help ease the congestion. Uh, in the meantime, the Ambassador Bridge looks nice at this time of evening. This time of year, uh, the sun sets 
uh, in the downriver area, which is kind of neat. So you get a different perspective. Um, but it depends what season it is. But following the sun and then even the moon. Moon's fun to follow too. It's different phases and whatnot. Full moons especially. Here, uh, Caesar's uh, Casino. And this is the riverboat that in the summer months you can uh, rent that thing for various days but then on the weekends they have like the dinner cruises and the like and I was hoping this thing was moving but it looks like it's moored there and yeah look at the moon a sliver of a moon okay spirit of transportation maybe that's why we became the the motor capital and we'll continue to have automated automated vehicles look at this uh seating area here i think in the middle you can plug in your iphone or whatnot charge it up but wow well they did a good job renovating uh kobo center it used to be uh, like oakland macomb wayne but now they have all hall a b c d and then the big ballroom Ooh, too much to talk about i'm twisting my tongue or i'm getting tongue tied hall e is in the basement Okay, so the Detroit Pistons Foundation, that must be the event that they're having in the Riverview Ballroom. And the GM Global Headquarters. And this building always architecturally had the, the cool look. The Pontchartrain Hotel, it's been renamed. Local Four, they're good on the scene. Now this is a big video board, and it's doing its thing. Coming attractions. Oh, and then this was the fire department, their main station, now a boutique hotel, DFD, Detroit Fire Department. Some angels holding up the insignia, but what a classic building. How cool is this? It's always been cool. <laughs> but now a hotel. It's cold. I'm having trouble I guess holding the camera steady, even though it has steady shot. Um, but yeah, Detroit Foundation Hotel will just this is their logo kinda uses the uh, some symbols from the city flag. You have lions up top and then they have some good lighting. And this is above the bar area. So they probably yeah, doops. But yeah, it looks like a nice place to uh, to chill. Kind of has a Christmassy feel already to it. All right, then the Rosa Parks Transit Station, and uh, that's good design there. Design is important. There's nothing wrong with having. Well, you can hit eye candy with buildings. Here, the UFO factory. I, I was just heading back home. I love their logo, but the light's on. And they have good uh, tile work up front. But, yeah, look at the sign. Danger, keep out, condemn. Dangerous and unsafe. And I love the glass block. Apparently... Even though the foundation got messed up, they're going to repair this. And the bar is, you know, last I heard is, is it's going to survive. How cool is that? I was bumming that I didn't get any video inside the place because it's kind of hipster for the younger crowd that likes, oh, a whole variety of music. But it's set up for them. And they can build this housing thing around this bar. It could be a piece of the puzzle for them and a track be a magnet for that type crowd that loves that type of entertainment the live music you know so anyways i don't know if that's going to be delayed they're going to make use of the checker building where the this is right across the street from tiger stadium yeah and so there's a police athletic league they have a little league park it's nearing completion 
in the shadows is that train station. Maybe they can make it a, a big boutique hotel and then have train action from Chicago to Detroit and then under the Detroit River and Windsor, Toronto, right? Let's do all that. That would be cool. All right. I got to avoid the horse, horsey poo, but this was the like the beginning area of the parade and I had to park out yonder det.com I'm certainly in the urban environment and a couple lions protecting this building oh yeah don't mess so I parked Paquette and Woodward parade starts uh, basically around the DIA and Woodward but just kind of I'm in between downtown and Midtown or I should say New Center excuse me but they connect the dots all the way up to New Center also now there's the parade and I got here a little bit late I like the logo here that's well done London luggage apparently they're doing quite well We'll do some urban planning and talk along those lines as I try to catch up to the parade. Carhartt, they've been here a couple years now, or a year and a half. Good for them. They have a signature store there. So I'm heading south on M1. And yeah, the queue line runs up uh, to the new center area, or yeah, new center. We need to extend the queue line even further. All right, happy Thanksgiving. We were just down for the day because everybody's along the parade route. A route, if you prefer. Here, a beautiful mansion. Nothing stops Detroit. Yes, we will survive. Oh, yes, knowledge is power. That cannot be denied. I like to point that out every chance I get. And some of these names you may know from your schooling days. Ah, the Detroit Institute of Arts. And that guy, he's thinking about urban planning too. He's thinking about Detroit. I know he is. There's a lot to think about. Lots happening these days. This guy's hat is compromised a little bit. But there's always, when you look up, Isaiah was right. When you look up, you can always see things, some details. Oh, that piggy there? Remember, save your money. It's always good. Feed the pig. All right. Industry, intelligence, integrity since 1868. And they are an anchor in Detroit, in the Midtown neighborhood. No doubt about it. Connecting the dots, they are quite the big dot. And they have a ghost bar. I'll check that out. Oh, that'll be next week's show for Noel Night. I have some video. But they had the chairs set up. Here I like this mural. It'll have some significance. It it takes heart to fight for something that so many consider a lost cause. You can insert various other aspects into that and read further along. Anyways, Woodward, Main Street, Detroit. I'm catching up near the end of the parade and uh, there's Kermit the Frog. Oh, the eye in the sky. Always there. But a good crowd, very chilly, but we come to expect that. Uh, early, early morning, as it always is before noon. Good. Now that's no fun, is it? 
Uh -huh. That's what he's saying. And you are good too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Santa's come to town. Be good. Be good. Enjoy the day. I'm only going to be good when I know you're watching. There's some sombrero with the turkey. Wow. That expression, eat your hat. Gosh, maybe it's not so bad in that case. Uh, they're going to do like a little spin here. Different perspectives. Well, they call them uh, POVs. Everybody's got a different point of view. So, this just happens to be my It's okay. Everybody, the first and foremost point of view that you should take, take to heart is your own. So this is this is second fiddle. Way down the list, but yeah. I like to look at urban planning. I, I'm tempted at all these buildings looking at them. Entertainment. They got the Christmas lights under here. carrots when he was a kid this one of the last great mayors of the city of Detroit and I don't know the people who knows in our lifetime there may be another mayor give it some time David Broderick Tower that's a few years ago nice lobs there Grand Circus Park then we're really getting into the the cool part of the downtown area. Oh, I wanted the David Whitney building to go inside. They have a, a bar here, but the atrium is just gorgeous. And this is a boutique hotel now, the Loft. They have a 13th floor. Look at the doors, too. Quite ornate. Then they got cool stairwell, but then the mailbox. Oh, yeah. People still do that. Uh, different points of view again. They're all over the place. Everywhere you look. Yeah. Some of these buildings are getting repurposed. Yes, indeed. This is a mainstay. That's where 
where Santa's going to get the key to the city. And then uh, Channel 4 had the main coverage. And then Cala Mexico, uh, Tex, well, California Mexican restaurant, it says it in the name. Then you can go ice skating. That's open. Tree. Energy. Sometimes people confuse that with my website. Mine's D E T, the abbreviation for Detroit. Uh, then they had these little shopping places, uh, which were kind of neat. Little boutique shops. Grand Trunk. Railroad. This was their ticket office. And this may open it finally as a hotel, the Vinton. This was a map right when this train station was built. Some of the parade goers stopped in here for a cold one. And what's nice is like the parade gets done around noon or thereabouts. Shoot Detroit with a camera, though. Smile, you have teeth. That's kind of funny. At least for the time being. <laughs> there's, some, there's some funny ones. All right, 12 12. So uh, the Lion game will start around 12 30. That's what they usually advertise. Photo op here. Winter in Detroit. Then they had a covered area here. Yeah, lots of selfie. The dream is now. So somebody here did a, the design art and resurgence of an American city. How cool. And then designing Detroit. I looked at some of the pictures in that book, and that's, that's great. Like, some people are on this, which is great, and that's all part of urban planning, big time. Everything's a piece of the puzzle. Everybody, you know, how to eat an elephant. It's like one bite at a time, and it's a, everybody takes one bite, basically. But there's a lot of room, certainly, in the mosaic of the city to get your piece of the action. All right. 1241, it's game on. And they have a cool piece of artwork here for a taxi. It's like a woodcut thing. Kalamazoo, Michigan. I wonder how they got that. Spirit of Detroit, but <laughs> redone with a beer in hand. Uh -huh. Vikings are up 13 to nothing, so I'm... You know, I'll jump on the band. Oh, mature audiences only. Sorry, that just kind of popped in there. Uh, this is the old Wayne County building, but uh, nice artwork there. Now with the Lions, it's like if they're doing well, I'll jump on the bandwagon. There's enough room. But <laughs> there's a lot of dry streaks, and so I've kind of told myself I'm not really going to get upset if the Lions lose a game. It's not going to make or break my day. And I found out since I came to that like epiphany moment, it's like, <laughs> this is great. Uh, and if they do well, yeah. I, I understand the whole civic pride thing and everything, so it's great for the city to, to have good sports teams. There's no doubt about that. Temple of Oddfellows, this redone. And it's like supposed to be like the largest Buffalo Wild Wings. And which I understand Arby's bought, or is the new owner. So I don't know how that will all play out. I like, I think that's the King Kong building. I also say the building with the cherry on top, but it's not dark out yet to see the cherry. Tours and information. Yeah, you're starting to see that a little bit more where people are showing off the city a little bit. 
And why not? There's a lot of good stories. I mean, I've been to Chicago or Boston, New York, San Francisco. There's great tourist industries to show off of the city. Not so much in Detroit, but that's changing. Okay, let's see. 13 to 3, I think it says. Make your holiday wishes come true. Yeah, there's some nice architecture. Certainly a uh, good array of buildings. And here a nice sculpture. That's kind of like a boutique style there. It's not, uh, you know, too overly big. Now they're saying some of these posters might have to come down, the advertising. And then they have a cigar lounge, and they're in a hip building. Another, again, the lion. A cigar-inspired lounge. And that's a sexy picture there. And that was a question if that was in or not. And Ford Field finally swung around to where the game is being played. But yeah, I'm not totally 50 bucks. I'll definitely walk a country mile, but to each his own. Look at all the different rates they have. The max rate is 50. And then I got this. For, uh, well, the, the, the ghetto. Okay. My name's Rio, man. All right, we'll listen to it. Okay. These are like donations, five, four, three dollars. I actually paid a few bucks for it, but I haven't listened to it yet. I'll have to see. That's you got to hit the hit the bricks to promote yourself, so I can let you know if the music's good. Actually, I have a CD player in my Focus. I haven't used it yet. I guess I could put it in there. Here, a little drama. And I like the logo for the box garage and it's Shinola time we're off a little bit Matthew Stafford he's the 35 million dollar man but yeah they're playing inside there and the the Vikings lead the NFC North they're having a, a hell of a year this it doesn't look like they were open maybe earlier in the day, but a lot of people, I'll give them credit, they like to head for home and celebrate with their own families uh, Thanksgiving. This is the latest police vehicle. Bringing the street back to life, getting the traffic signals in place, cleaning everything up. There's some people probably putting in a full day of work on Thanksgiving, hopefully. Uh, double time or, you know, holiday pay kind of thing. Here, Tiger, and this is uh, a photo op. All the time it is. You always see people out there. We need a Robocop, though. That'd be a, put that in a gritty part of Detroit. That would be a tourist attraction. Grant you not. And what's it cost to make a nice statue? Talking 10000 20000 Peanut change for, a, for the amount of, or the benefit that would become just for people coming by because tourist dollars are huge can't cannot be understated and i think on one of the lists detroit was number two on u.s cities to visit it's kind of like it's hip at the moment maybe maybe 
that'll change after a while. I don't know, but people have noticed. So if you get people, if you have a RoboCop, <laughs> it'll be hipper even, you know. Why not? It's those little items that people, that stand out for people. All right, they got a thingy on there. Now I'm heading north on M1. It's actually like in a northwest direction. And the queue line tracks. But Little Caesars Arena, I've walked around the place a couple of times. Have not been inside the arena yet, but um, going with my good friend Jim on Tuesday, December 12th. They play the Denver Nuggets, the, the Detroit Pistons do. You can't call them the Pistons of Auburn Hills anymore. You have to call them the Detroit Pistons. And I'm more than happy to. But anyways, yeah, they play the Nuggets. And I'll be able to check out the inside of the arena and take pictures and small video clips with my smartphone. So even though it's not going to be of high quality, I think I'll still um, show some, some of the inside. Hotel Eddystone, that's like our Hotel California. And Mike Illich School of Business. So Wayne State University, again, they are just popping things up like mushrooms. And so they have to be commended. They are um, anchoring the city. Look at the hinges on this thing. This is just incredible. Four big monster hinges, two for each door. Yeah. Vietnamese noodles. So the a new restaurant in the lower level. Never tried the food, so I can't tell you. Gray Ghost. This is a cool building. I have not been inside here, but it's just down the way. There's a coffee shop on the corner, but these buildings are coming back to life. It's really nice to see this. Here again, they're repositioning all the uh, or <laughs> they took them down entirely but they're putting them back up now Motor City Electric they're probably a subcontractor I like their logo though City. No doubt. Promote all of Michigan. Michigan's a hip state. It's it's not it's like undiscovered yet. You know, we're like one of the few states that have had any measurable population increase for like the last three or four census totals. We've been just under ten million for years where other states have had phenomenal growth we've just kind of lost a little bit or held our own but i don't know i think the secret's going to get out we have a temperate climate we have all four seasons we have all the lakes we have all the culture the sports teams too proud to beg he had the stereo cranked up it sounded real good as he was strolling down Woodward Avenue Main Street Detroit uh, Union Street step inside there they have a beautiful the ceilings gorgeous there among other things people are watching eyes all over the place oh look at the shape they know ooh, little double action And Santa, go, 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 man, what a, uh, an, an array there. 
the water department holding the sun in its hand. Cool little thing going there. This and there's a lot of attractive buildings. Everything's a piece of the puzzle. We'll have to like keep going back and see how these puzzles um, are interconnecting, how they're joining, creating synergy, and so forth. We have black holes here and there, and we have white elephants mixed in, and among that too, we have vacant land. So we got we got to take care of a few things, but bit by bit, piece by piece, crazy good food they have here. Okay, some history here too. Basically, I'm backtracking my steps because I was trying to, I started at the, the start of the parade, a little bit even north of there, followed the parade all the way downtown, now I'm walking back. So I did a little walking today, but that's okay. Walking is good exercise. Here's looking back towards downtown. Old Main. Nice little park in the foreground here that they use for events now and then. But uh, we're in Wayne State University territory. Now in front of the Institute of Arts. There he is. He's still thinking. There's a lot to think about. And everyone can get involved. It's not like a, a one-person thing to be sure. But go out there and get your knowledge. Do a little learning. A little checking. Poking around. The more information, the better off you'll be. You'll make those informed decisions. Oh, all the psycho babble I am spewing out. Oh, I don't mean to, to lay it on that thick, but it's kind of like I, I'm happy with the progress that the city's making, and I think uh, we're what's subby that rolls off the tongue. I love it. But I think what's going to happen to Detroit and Detroit's improvement, we're going to have to do it on our own. We can't expect, uh, I don't think Donald Trump's going to do us any favors. Uh, he's concerned with the top 1% and the rest of us are going to have to fend for ourselves. So think local and we have to think what can we do, with, not as just the city, but the region overall. Ooh, Listen to me, not the evil twin there. Evil twins sometimes. Well, everything's got to be taken with a grain of salt, to be sure. Um, and everybody's opinion should be valued. Because with this urban planning thing, uh, it's not just one person to tackle it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem, or if you want to look at it as a problem. It's an um, opportunity. I shouldn't say it's a problem. It's an opportunity that everybody can be involved with. And... There's a lot. There's a lot. And I'm just kind of figuring it out myself. Again, I'm looking at these door hinges. They look like Christmas trees turned sideways. We're going to take off like rocket ships doing that symbolism stuff. Now, this is what my phone says. So I'm thinking Stanford shatters record. What? Maybe we're the Lions um, are back in the game. Could they possibly be winning? But park down here at Paquette. So I'm just down yonder. There it is. Historic house bar and grill. So I'm going to stop in here. Well, he did get uh, It was 27-23. Crap. Now it's 30-23. to 23. Ah, geez. So Pete. Oh, wait a second. Oh man, fast forward. Oh gosh. No, no, wrong one. Fast forward. I don't want to get in trouble with the NFL crap. Okay. Yeah. I was just documenting the game there, and the Lions did end up losing. Kind of a bummer, but. Uh, 
anyways. If you get to the point where you have, you tell yourself you have no control over the game, you weren't playing in the game, you, you didn't, uh, some, any, something or anything you did didn't control what happened at, in the very least. If you can say that and say, why be upset if they lost, that's the way I look at it now. So I'm already over it. But uh, cranes, so there is, it's good to see some action. When you see cranes, you see progress. They're building stuff. Football inspired bridge. It came around when the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 40, the XL Super Bowl, excellent. They built this bridge so everyone from the airport heading downtown could see the, the football bridge. But it looks cool. I like it. All right. That was a long day. Good night, sleep. Got two more segments of the show. This was the day after. Turkey Day. So this was Friday, November 24th. Yeah, there we go. I got the date up there. Going to check out this restaurant. Look at the nice brickwork up top. M Cantina. They got to put up a sign over there. I guess maybe it'll light up. And then next door, it's going to be a grocery store. And so they were working on that. So tapas, tortas, tacos. And this is the menu here, even halal. So they prepare it that way. There was a group of 12 of us, the family. And so drinks that are smoking hot. How do they do that? But yeah, and then uh, the food. So I'm just going real quickly here. But here's some of the food plates as they are served. Oh, we'll, we'll talk with Junior Marino here shortly. He'll go through the grand tour. I'm looking at the, uh, the book here and explain some of the history. And he made it in the city of New York. Here, the biography, if you can speed read. Grizzly Peak. Grizzly Peak. Grizzly Peak. Grizzly Peak. Can we make reservations? Like this? We need to get a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to speed real, read real fast. But yeah, it was eat time and so forth. Or feeding time. So... Here are the back of the restaurant. We had the little special like back room for bigger groups and so forth. And then they have, we're gonna look, this is the front part and the lighting is fabulous. Junior was telling me the, the lighting bill is not that much to run those LED lights. But uh, a lot of artists did <laughs> some work. Certainly artistry in the lights and so forth and in the, the clock. And then across the way, there's a hotel. But I love using the tubing. There's Junior. Okay. They're part of our, our culture of Mexico. Then, uh, all of this is also from Mexico. This, this guy. Um, What's up with the, the dog? The, the dog is actually a chihuahua. So it's a... Um, we call him a queso. His name is queso. And then... Chihuahua right here. The skull is actually uh, also part of the Day of the Death. Uh, it's a uh, decoration in a lot of uh, most Mexican homes. And then we have the the wood, you know. So we have all the different elements of uh, nature, you know, like that stone. We have the, the woodwork. We have the the, um, the metal work, which represents fire. So we have all the different elements in the, in the restaurant. Um, and of course, you know, everything is about being organic, natural. The colors are also very uh, Mexican colors. So the food does take some time to come out, but it's the best way to actually enjoy 
uh, good Mexican food. Uh, Mexican food is not about being fast, it's not fast food. It's, it's about quality, it's about uh, family, it's about gathering, it's about the flavors uh, and all the elements that come together. And then these are different uh, things to these are, uh, make drinks? Uh, no, they're actually uh, flavors. Kind of like, uh, flavors. And uh, syrups on the bottom, and then those are gourmet. Uh, you know, in the Aztec calendar, the sun plays a big role, the sun and the moon. So you have, you know, the, the sink that represents that. How do you operate that? Turn the lever? Yeah, just push it up. Oh. And then uh, you push it to the side if you want hot water or cold water. Um, Amazing. And then the, yeah, the gears actually represent uh, four or the motor cars because that's why we have a, a gears on the front, gears here because we're in a deer run where you know a lot of cars are actually uh, are, are one of the main uh, brands it's here and that's why we wanted to add kind of touches that represents uh, the the gears of the cars and, and the manufacturing and also our uh, concept is very it's LED so all the lights combined use uh, 100 watts so it's the in the whole restaurant. In the whole restaurant. So it's like having one. This is you, you one. say it's walnut. Black walnut. Yes. Okay. So uh, this uh, represents obviously nature, organic, uh, and the the restaurant is eco friendly, which means that we don't use any plastic. As you can see, everything we use is biodegradable. Okay. Uh, so, I like I like the seats here too. Yeah, the the seats. Uh, again, everything. So it's about you know utilizing all, all the nature gives us a lot of recycled wood too. Um, uh, obviously, we don't have, we don't have alcohol uh, right now, but uh, we do offer a, a good uh, a good amount of different uh, beverages. So people used to call me, you know, Oh, even I recognize that guy. Yeah, he was my favorite. Okay. Then um, this one here is called Black Mamba. We have... Um, so you can get any of these here now? Or yeah. You, okay. Uh, this one is a, a blank canvas. Um, then we have yeah, they're little little art creations. Yeah, this uh, this one is uh, it, it's it's called a lava lamp. So oh, it's, neat. Uh, in uh, looks like lava, but it's not lava. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of really cool stuff. The uh, mojito pills, um, tequila face. And so we have a lot of whiskey, uh, strawberries. We have a lot of different things that we do, uh, rum, cereal, we do a lot of like really cool stuff, like very different. Mom, my dad. That's your mom there, huh? Yes. Where so does she live now? In Mexico. Does she? So they, they come only for a couple of weeks. Uh, these are my cats. And um, in the summer we do grow a lot of our own herbs because they're very unique um, herbs that we bring from Mexico. And then um, here my mom is toasting all the spices for the mole and the, the seeds get toasted and then they get grinded in the molino um, by hand because my parents believe that's the best flavor to, to, the best way to extract the flavor. The plantains, everything gets uh, roasted first, then they get fried and then they get uh, grinded with uh, the garlic, sesame seeds. It has over 46 uh, spices, the mole, and it takes a whole day. The whole family gets together and we make a, a lot of mole for, uh, for the restaurant. We have the, um, the almonds here, they are being toasted. The mole, the chile, the chile is being grinded and then it becomes a paste. Um, it, from this one, when it, after 40 years, it gets to be really big, about 50 kilos. And we make a dessert out of it. But, uh, they're in, uh, a dessert out of it? Yes, for Christmas. But right now, they're in, uh, about to be extinct, so the government put a stop on, on, this, uh, on this type of cactuses. 
like, like a big uh, um, homemade churro. Okay. Actually, uh, Cinnamon. The, the sugar it's made by uh, my mom, which contains uh, chocolate, toasted corn, spices, and then um, the, it has cajeta, which is a very traditional Mexican uh, caramel, which is made from goat's milk. And then we have here avocado ice cream, dehydrated pineapple. Uh, gooseberry, which is that's part a of gooseberry. The, yes, part of the green tomatillo family, but it's a uh, sweeter. It's not as tart as the green tomatillo. So that's pineapple there. Yes, yeah, okay. pineapple, which concentrates the flavor. Oh, after all that, it was so cool. I had that dessert. Yum yum. So thank you, uh, for Junior, for the grand tour. Which is kind of neat. This is the Eastbourne section, and I'm going to have a thing where it's like Eastbourne versus Westbourne. So stay tuned. That will be future. Uh, the weather's got to get warm for that. Uh, well, this was even the next day, Saturday. Big game, high noon. Ohio State's in town. But first, I got to stop at the downtown Home and Garden and pick up bird food because they you can buy it by the 50 pound bag. And if, if it weighs that much, you might as well just drive right on through and keep the distance short. Wild birds love it, and it's out of Celine's, so I'm buying local, kind of, you know, pretty close. And uh, they have the Christmas decorations all up here. What a great hardware store. And so, yep, I'm loaded up. I got two bags. I make it worth my trip. And it's only 20 bucks a bag. So 20 times 2 is 40, and then the tax was another 240, 4240, and I'm out the door. And then they have Christmas trees out back. Now I gotta look for parking. And so, not, uh, I went up actually Broadway, parked out in this neck of the woods, and I don't mind the, the walking thing. I wanna check out a different part of Ann Arbor, a city that always seems to make like the top 50 or top 100 list of places to live or whatnot. You know, they have all number of lists for any number of things. They've got a lot of magazines to sell, you know what I'm talking about? But anyways, here, this was sad. They had a recent fire over here, but what a cool-ass building this is. Hopefully, uh, it looks all dripping with history. So I don't know how badly damaged. This is the side of it. And then there's a cycle place behind there. And then this, this is like Frankenstein kind of stuff when you see these power plants. Just, But some of these things have artistic shapes to them too. And there's a livery over here, but we'll take a look at the Huron River. the canoes and they're craning or crane it's not in action but during the work week it probably is but this fast moving river even the street lights can get artistic and it's a tree city and they're concerned with nature and and whatnot keeping things clean look at this is a five quintet light this dog's pulling its owner around. We're going this way. You are here, so if you want the history, this is kind of nice, but Broadway. Maybe this was the first Broadway, and then New York got its. They, they might have been second fiddle. Or it could be the other way around. But uh, Yeah, look how clear. See right through it. That's nice. And this river certainly uh, in the summertime is used by people with those canoes and those kayaks and all that. The sun is trying to peek through. 
And here, there must have been some kind of incredible canoe accident for all them to get mangled together like that. Might be a doggy park or some dog get together. Yeah, it looks like it's fenced in, so. Then, uh, Gandy Dandy. Uh, an old train station here, but they have fine dining. Maybe they'll get busy after the game. Yeah, oh, this dog's gonna go out for a run. Yeah, it's frisbee time. And I think they're talking they're going to reposition uh, the train station. And I'm not sure exactly. I have to investigate what spot they're looking for. But right now, this is where Amtrak will, will stop. And we're out to Chicago or Detroit. We're going to or fro. But, uh, and the Greyhound you can pick up here also. Always like their logo. And Casey's Tavern. Well, right now, the, uh, the game is on between Ohio State and Michigan. But I, I'm really the big-time Michigan fan. But, again, they're having one of those years where they can beat the bad teams or the so-so teams, but the good teams they have issues with. So I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I have no control. Here the pineapple. I love that. I'll get a closer look at it later. But, yeah, why? I, I don't need to be in front of a TV right now watching and struggling with that game. <laughs> Because I, I really want Michigan to win bad. I hate Ohio State like I hate no other team in the world, in the universe. But um, if Michigan wins, yes, I will celebrate. But otherwise, um, I'm going to take a spin during this time. And actually, while the, while the game is on, take a look at the city. And it's a beautiful city. They even have purple houses. This is the North Main Park. They have parks kind of all over the place, which is kind of neat. And what I like is they don't have cookie cutter homes like they do in the neighborhood where I live. I live in South Dearborn Heights, and my neighbor to my left, and the neighbor to my right, and basically the whole stretch, the whole side of the one block. They're all the same style. Some have like one and a half lots, and some people have redone some of their homes, but I'd say a good like seven, eight houses are exactly the same. Same floor plan and everything. Boring, but not in Ann Arbor. A lot of variety. And uh, then they have little walkways in between. Look, art is everywhere, and someone made art out of... Uh, like wine bottles. Here with HVAC equipment and stuff, the tubing, you can make artwork too. Art is in the eye of the beholder. And I like some of the, the new styles they have for buildings. Folks, though, I'm going to have to cut this off and recontinue for next week. Next week's show, we'll, we'll have some more Ann Arbor, and then I'll get into Noel Night which is a uh, tradition in the city and that's well done also look at the picket fence it's not white picket fence it's like a yellow yellowish snoopy hang on snoopy hang on yeah it looks like he's taking a nap but hopefully he doesn't slide off of that thing but they got the born on date here such an excellent mix of buildings in Ann Arbor and they're well taken care of. There's some elbow grease that's necessary. Every city has that. Um, but, but Ann Arbor's a little pricey, but it's not pricey like some cities on the East Coast or anything like San Francisco or, or Chicago, if you want to talk Midwest. That's what's nice about our area. Things are affordable. Oh, I ran over my limit. Continue next week. Good night.